All right, so here we are. I just want to show this NFT game thingy that I've been making. Um, here's the URL at sharkjets.com slash my epic game dash vanilla JS. And what it is, is it's an interface for a smart contract that I made um, that you use just plain old JavaScript to connect to it along with, you know, I'm using Bootstrap for the layout and Sweet Alert for some cool pop-ups and ethers.js, which is how you connect to the uh, blockchain. But basically, I just wanted to show it real quick. A lot of these examples use React or something like that to show you how to do it. And this is just, I just wanted to do it in plain old JavaScript because personally, I don't like React, but uh, that's a matter for a different day. So the first thing you'll need to do is, of course, connect your wallet. You need to be using uh, MetaMask or something like that. Um, and you need to be on the Rinkeby network because we're not actually going to spend any real money. So we're just testing. So we go ahead and click on the login button and it will ask us to choose an account. I'm going to choose this one here. And once we do that, we will see the three mintable characters. So we just need to choose which character we want. Each one of them has a different health and attack number as to how much damage they'll be doing or how much damage they can take. Uh, so I'll go ahead and mint Uber Burb here. Now, you know what? Just for this example, I'm going to go with Dizzo the Clown. Uh, so I'll mint Dizzo, and then it'll ask you to approve that transaction, and you pay the gas fees, of course. And then you just have to wait the usual 10, 20 seconds before Ethereum figures out what's going on. And uh, then we'll get a different screen that will let us fight a boss. Okay, so here's the new screen. And as you can see, our Dizzo the Clown is here. He has eight out of eight health. Our boss is called Webhook, and he has 10 out of 10 health, and he also does two damage. So there's also a link up at the top here, so you can open this uh, NFT that you now own on OpenSea, and you can uh, look at it there. It takes a few seconds before all this is populated, but we'll come back and look at it in a bit. So now we can attack the boss. So we just go ahead and click attack and authorize the transaction. And then we'll wait for that. And then we get this pop up that tells us good job. Uh, the attack is complete. We have hit the boss uh, or the boss's new health is two and the player's health is now six. So if we hit okay, you'll see those numbers reflected here underneath the cards. So then we can hit this guy again to kill him. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and then we get another pop-up saying good job. This time you'll see the boss has a health of zero and the player has a health of four. So again, we can verify those numbers here. So now see, you see that you won. So it says it right there, you win. And then there's this method I created to reset the health so that everybody's back up and running. So I'll go ahead and reset the health and approve that. And what'll happen is we'll get the attack button once everybody gets back up to full health. All right, so now you can see we're back and uh, we have 10-10 health and 8-8 health and the attack button is back. So let's go ahead and open this up in OpenSea again and see if that has uh, caught up to us. And there you go, you can see now your NFT and all of its properties, how much health and attack damage you have. You can see the other cards I've been experimenting with. And if this is your wallet, then you can go ahead and uh, list this for sale and all that good stuff, just like any other NFT. So that's all I wanted to show. The source for this is on GitHub. Uh, check me out on Shark Jets, where I'm making video game tutorials in general. And that's about it. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.